In this demo, I'll show you how to manage multiple IoT devices on a single dashboard using a smart building example built on Blink's low-code IoT platform, powered by Tectelic sensors. Together, we'll explore how easy it is to monitor a multi-floor building, visualize live weather data, and keep track of door status and environmental conditions, all within one intuitive workspace. The goal is to show what's possible when connected devices come together inside Blink. At the very top of the dashboard, you can see a complete overview of the building. Each Tectelic sensor is placed on its corresponding floor, giving you a real-time snapshot of activity across multiple levels. On the right side, the Events panel continuously highlights active alerts and issues, so you never miss an important update. Beneath that, live weather metrics, temperature, humidity, CO2 concentration, and barometric pressure provide useful environmental context. Clicking on any sensor reveals more details such as battery capacity, humidity, temperature, and pressure. Selecting a device name opens its dedicated dashboard where you can explore everything in depth. Some devices also feature leak detection. A reading of zero means no leak, while one signals a leak detected, an instant indicator that prompts quick action. Just below the live readings, you'll find historical charts. Here we've selected a one-month period, so the graph displays how each value, temperature, humidity, and pressure changed over time. This helps identify patterns like seasonal drift or ventilation issues. Underneath, a sensor table lists all devices assigned to this dashboard. Every row summarizes data points such as temperature, humidity, CO2, and battery status, effectively a health report for your entire building. With this view, operators can confirm system performance at a glance without diving into individual devices. From the left sidebar, you can quickly switch to other dashboards. This one breaks the data down by floor, offering a more detailed look at each level. For instance, on the first floor, two sensors are connected. You can view the floor plan, tap on each sensor to open its pop-up, review average temperature, humidity, CO2, and pressure, and even open historical trends or latest events for that floor. This flexibility allows you to move seamlessly from a high-level building overview to granular floor insights, all in a few clicks. Now let's build one of these dashboards completely from scratch. In the bottom left corner, click New Dashboard and give it a descriptive name, for example, Floor 3. We'll start by adding an image map widget, which lets you place sensors visually on top of a floor plan. Upload your floor plan image, then click on the locations where sensors are installed. Each marker can be resized, repositioned, and linked to a device. We'll use temperature as the main displayed value. Define a range for expected readings, assign color gradients to indicate conditions, and choose what appears inside the pop-up. For instance, battery level, pressure, or carbon dioxide concentration. Once you configure one sensor type, the same setup automatically applies to all sensors of that type. Saving significant time during scale-up. Of course, every marker can still be customized individually. For example, one sensor might show color changes based on pressure, while another focuses on temperature. Next, let's add a Tectelic comfort sensor that measures temperature and includes a magnetic switch, perfect for monitoring doors or windows. When the value reads zero, the door is open. When it reads one, the door is closed. Here, we'll invert that logic to make it visually intuitive. In the pop-up, we'll also display temperature, battery capacity, humidity, and leak detection. Together, these create a dynamic floor map that immediately shows environmental status and open door alerts in real time. Now let's define which key metrics should appear at the top of the dashboard. 
will track average temperature, humidity, and CO2 levels, and also add a tile that counts the number of devices currently online. To create these, add label widgets. Each is linked to a virtual pin. Here we'll use V0 for temperature to ensure consistent mapping across templates. Let's name this widget average temperature, set the units to Celsius, and apply a filter so it only includes devices selected on this floor's map. We can easily duplicate this label for humidity, CO2, and barometric pressure, updating the units and pin each time. These consistent setups help maintain alignment between dashboards, making enterprise-level monitoring easier to manage. Now let's build a more detailed view using the device table widget. Choose the devices you'd like to display, then configure the columns. We'll start with temperature and show it as a bar ranging from minus 20 to plus 60 degrees Celsius. Apply a gradient color scale, for example, blue for cooler readings and red for higher ones. Next, add humidity as numeric values with a gentle blue gradient that shifts with moisture levels. And finally, add battery capacity, displayed as bars from 0 to 100%. You can even set conditional formatting rules so low battery devices turn a different color. This table provides an immediate snapshot of every sensor's performance, combining live data and visual cues. It's a powerful way to monitor dozens of devices simultaneously without missing key details. To make this dashboard fully operational, let's include the latest events widget. It captures and lists all recent notifications, temperature anomalies, leak detections, or door activity. From here, you can open the related device directly to investigate and take action. With this, the dashboard becomes an active control center, not just a visualization tool. The final step is configuring access permissions and filters. You can decide who can view or edit the dashboard, limit it to admins, root organization users, or make it visible across your company. Choose a default time range that loads automatically when users open it. Filters help focus the data by organization, device template, or even individual devices. For example, you can filter to display only tectelic breeze sensors or isolate a single floor for maintenance. This flexibility ensures each user sees the data most relevant to them. Once everything is configured, you can make this dashboard your homepage so it loads automatically each time you open the Blink console. And that's it. A complete smart building monitoring dashboard created with Blink and Tectelic. It unifies real-time environmental data, live alerts, and floor-by-floor -floor visibility in one simple interface. With Blink, you can move from connected devices to connected operations, faster, smarter, and at scale.